cooking apa? Hi, this is cooking apa. Apa found some spare ribs. Yeah, this is spare ribs inside my fridge. So I just take it out and uh, five minutes ago, this is how I decided to make. I'm going to uh, make it into, uh, I'm going to stir fry it, make it into a stew using salted black bean. Si chap. Yeah, I'm going to make si chap. So uh, let's quickly look at the ingredient. I have approximately, this is maybe about 250 grams of uh, ribs here. The seller already cut it into small pieces for me. And what I did was I actually wash it. Lah, huh? I actually wash it, uh, uh, rinse it under water, few rounds. Yeah, We will need one, at least one teaspoon of uh, salted black bean. This is the main ingredient. Salted black bean uh, will release flavor better after you mince it. So I actually mince it already. And then we have some garlic, chili padi, and some minced ginger also, and also fresh coriander roots. And of course, apa will be using my cooking apa chicken stock powder. For those who are interested, you can get it from Shopping Malaysia or Shopping Singapore. All right, so first what you're going to do is you're going to uh, heat up about two to three tablespoons of oil. Then we can put in the garlic, ginger, coriander roots, and also the salted black bean. So don't put in the chili party first. Lah. If not, it can be too spicy. I will just add in towards the end. And of course, for those who don't like the spiciness, you just omit the chili party, or you can use big chili. So let's saute this for about one minute before we continue. Wow, super fragrant already. I wish you all can smell this. I think we don't even need one, two minutes. <laughs> it's already super fragrant. Very fast. Less than one minute actually. And then I'm going to add in the ribs, which is already washed. You will get a, you will find a very similar dish in a dim sum place where they will actually steam it. Today, Appa is lazy to do any steaming, so I'm going to just stir fry it. Right? Once the strips is actually nicely coated with all the ingredients. Next thing, I'm going to give it some saucing wine. Let's tune down the fire because I'm going to put in some seasoning. And let's give it some water. Some salt. Some sugar. Some of my cooking apple chicken stock powder. Some light soy sauce, some oyster sauce. All right. Then we are going to raise the fire to medium high. Up to you whether you want to add dark soya sauce or not, depending on uh, what kind of color you wanted. I think I will add in some dark soya sauce. Let's get some nice caramelized color on for this dish. Uh, not too much also. Dark soya sauce, if you put too much, it can make your whole dish become very bitter. Right, so once the sauce is actually boiling, I'm going, so it is boiling right now, right? I'm going to cover it with a lid, tune down to medium low, and let it uh, simmer for at least about 15 minutes. Then it's almost done. 
All right, this is close to 13 minutes simmering under medium low heat. You can see the sauce has actually reduced by itself. Oh, I think I don't mind giving it a few more minutes for this to thicken up further. All right, this is total simmering time under medium low heat for approximately 15 minutes in total. You can see the sauce has thickened up by itself. If you prefer it to be even more thicker, you can actually add in some uh, cornstarch starch solution. But um, many of you may know, may know that Appa is not a starch solution person. So this is what I like. And uh, I do like a little bit more sauce here. Okay, And this is already thickened up. And we still have a bit of uh, chili padi at the end. Alright, give it a few stir and it is done. That's how simple it is and it is very appetizing. Oh, and we can actually finish off with a few dashes of white pepper. Done, ready to be served. That's how simple it is. Right. Give it some garnish it with a bit of uh, fresh coriander on top. There you go. Here's my very simple uh, spare ribs stew using salted black bean. Si chap hai kuat. Another way of cooking si chap hai kuat. So I hope you like my video today. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.